Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to get this iPhone right here on your desktop. I made this myself, and uh, by the way, if you hear anyone in the background, that's my brother playing uh, Xbox. Yeah, he's playing it online. Okay, but uh, whatever. I'm just going to start showing off, I'm uh, going to show you the website where you can download it from. It'll be in the, it will be at the side of the video, there's a link, it's right here. The website will come up with this. You want to go to download file and then scroll down and it'll say your download should begin shortly. If it does not, try it and then you click your download file now. This is just a little scan to make you wait. It doesn't actually come up. You have to click here. And then I use WinRAR. You may need WinRAR, which I'll also put in the side of the video. But, uh, if you have that, you can just go to open with and then say OK, or you can save it to the desktop. It should come up with this, this file right here. What, you are, what you're going to want to do is open up this, or actually extract it to your desktop. don't need to do that step, I just had to do that really quick. Extract it to your desktop. What I had to do was put a Z right there because I already have one right here. And yeah. So what you're gonna want to do is you open it and it will have a readme file to do, but as you uh, see right now, it will have these, and, okay, well, here is the background, the desktop template right here, and what you're going to want to do is you set that as your wallpaper, and then extract all these little things right here the graphs and mail and all that stuff to your desktop and maybe it'll just come up in like rows like that but uh what I do is go to arrange icons and you don't want to have it aligned to the grid you don't want to have it aligned to the grid because if you do the icons will be really spread out and it won't lay on the template and then what you're going to want to do is you drag the icon, see like there's a little spot right there. You drag the icon and then you just place it right on there. Yeah. And then for these ones, it doesn't have a spot like that, but you should pretty much know where it goes. And in here there's a reference. So this shows like what it should look like. you're wanting to use your own wallpaper and then have the template right there I provided you with this that you're able to use like Adobe Photoshop and anything on let's see if it opens yeah, here we go open up with Adobe Fireworks I guess it should come up with this and if you use Adobe you could uh, just take any kind of pen tool select the background like everything and all that stuff basically just like select this and then uh, layer copy 
copy, and then you can just open up a new. on it, Adobe Fireworks, but it works fine on uh, Photoshop. Yeah, I'll probably just make a tutorial on how to do this, but if this doesn't work for you, you can always just ask me and I'll create one for you, and you can just send me the wallpaper and stuff, so, yeah. And there is a glitch that I don't know how to fix and maybe one of you might know know how and could tell me but like after a while these icons will go back to like the normal folder icon like it will be like that and I don't know how to fix it so it doesn't do that so in here I put a readme text and it will have something that says glitch right here and it will show you how to change it back to the normal icon and with this the reference comes in handy now for because it shows you which icon you're going to need for it and so what you want to do is you right click go to properties customize change icon browse and then wherever you extracted the file to you gotta go to it open the folder mod psps hyphen iPhones open it up and go to this folder that says X hyphen iPhone icons open it up and then you'll see all of these and you're gonna open up uh, since I need the one for uh, photo go to picture 256 open ok apply ok and you'll see it'll be there uh, I'll figure out how to fix that soon and then I'll put up an update but yeah, until now, that's the thing I made. Pretty quick and easy. And uh, you can put your own icons in here, like, uh, let me take some to start. Like here's Skype. See, now I got Skype right there. Yeah, and there's a... Uh, there's a limited space of what is right here, but yeah, it's pretty nice. And this right here didn't come with the pack. This is just something I customized by myself. This Steam program. And yeah. So that's it. And if you need help, message me, reply, video reply, anything like that, comment, and I'll get back to you. So here's the iPhone, and uh, yeah.